Generations had passed since the death of Noah. The descendants of Ad, a great grandson of Noah, had settled in the southern parts of the Arabian Peninsula. God had showered them with innumerable blessings. He endowed them with farmland, unparalleled in Arabia in its fertility and richness. The people of Ad had crafted a magnificent city they called Iram, the city of pillars. Upon every hill and mountain, they erected monuments to display their wealth and power to the entire world. Counter to their great technological, artistic, agricultural, and military advancements, the people of Ad found themselves in a deep downward spiral of religious and moral decay. However, they were satisfied with their material wealth and considered worldly prosperity the only path to happiness and fulfillment. God Almighty decreed that it was time to appoint His new prophet to warn and guide the people of Ad. For this role, God chose Hud. Hud was born into a prominent and honorable family and so commanded great respect among his people. Like his people, he spoke Arabic. He was dignified and pious like his forefather Noah. His message to his people was simple yet deeply profound. He lived among people who were obsessed with the material world and they saw nothing but the luxuries of this life. They truly believed that material acquisition was the way towards infinite happiness. Prophet Hud saw a spiritual illness among his people. He properly diagnosed them and offered them the greatest spiritual prescription. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah 7 verse 65 quotes Prophet Hud. Allah says, وَإِلَىٰ عَادٍ أَخَاهُمْ هُودًا قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ اعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مَا لَكُمْ مِنْ إِلَٰهٍ غَيْرُهُ And to the tribe of Ad, we sent their brother Hud. He said, O my people, worship God. You have no other God but Him. My dear brothers and sisters, the root of all human suffering stems from our relentless pursuit of infinite happiness in finite things. We are all predisposed to crave the infinite. But the only infinite thing is God. The only place we can taste infinite happiness and limitless pleasure is with Him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fill our hearts with His love and devotion so we can taste that infinite happiness and limitless pleasure.